it has been a while since we've been on old Alice here I guess that didn't sound good did it that Alice the egg co Alice 1616h if you recall we got it running we replaced the coil put a battery in and put a new gear on the starter it still does not want to start off the key if I put the key in turn it on and jump the solenoid it runs fine uh, I'm not selling this and I'm not fixing it for anybody so I'm okay with that you pop the hood jump the solenoid get on it and away you go now we gotta look at the deck uh, it has seen better days but it's not that bad how you doing Reaper? There's a lot of expected rust in here. Let's be honest. This machine is kind of old. However, the top of the deck has only got this one hole. All the belts are here. All the pieces seem to be here. I think I, the only thing I'm missing is a cotter pin. And I got to run to the parts store later anyways to get some oil filters. So I'll pick up a pack of pins. Pack of pins. Uh, and then we'll see if we can get this thing going. But first, we gotta clean and sharpen these blades. We've got grease nipples on here, so we're gonna get those greased up if they'll take it. And we're gonna see if this baby will cut some grass. Ground rust protection and lubricant. I put this stuff on a couple days ago, knowing that I, whoops, sorry. Hey, you okay? Stay steady. I put this stuff on a couple days ago knowing that I was going to do this. The bolts are going to loosen right up. Trust me. I don't think these blades have ever been off of this deck. But not sponsored, but they should be. There we go. This one here I already got loosened. This one here, well, let's see what happens here. size it's uh, not a different size just happens to be a round head we got a tool for that too We got this one loose and that one. This one doesn't want to come off, so we're gonna to have to clean it up while it sits there. This bleed here looks like it tries to have an edge on it. Some people. This one here looks like it's got quite a nick out of it back in here. We're just trying to see if we can sharpen that up just a little bit. A little better let me get these done I'll get right back to you just getting ready to put the first blade back on not sure how well you can see it but that is a, sp a spline on the end of that shaft right there first thing that goes on is going to be the blade then the gear washer there we go then a regular washer way in your way there fella Get screwed in there. One done. So I was about to do a nice fancy shot and show you Alice driving into the frame, but I couldn't. Here's why. Here's where the camera was going to be. Nice and cinematic. Imagine this. Alice coming around the back of the car stops that all got put to a halt because of this So 
that is correct. Beanie has had a litter of six kittens, and uh, they're a little on the edgy side. Uh, they come out and eat once in a while, and you can hear her call them. We'll put the food down, and Beanie goes over there and calls them and brings them back out. But enough about the cats. We're going to talk about Alice. She is finished. She uh, did lose a wheel. Okay. Putting the deck on is really not a big deal. Unless you're trying to do it one-handed by yourself, then it becomes a big deal. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, which that's this guy right here, it becomes a big deal. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of footage putting the deck on simply because it required two hands and you weren't gonna see anything anyways. It was really that tight under there, but here's the deal. You come to the front, that bar that runs across the top of the deck, the front of the deck, sits right on these hooks. This is spring loaded, this piece right here. It sits underneath and helps lock it in until you pull that back and release it and it will just drop down. Underneath is where things got a little tight. I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you look right here, you can see some wire. Oh, that appears to come unhooked. Regardless, this goes into this hole right here and then a cotter pin goes on there. I didn't have a cotter pin, so I ended up using a piece of wire, which, uh, yeah, that didn't work, as you can see. But that is it. That's all that holds that on there. Initially, I thought maybe you had to drive over top of this somehow or pick the front end of this up to get it in there. You turn your wheels all the way to the left. You slide the front end under, push this over, hook the front end on. Put your drive belt on, which is right up there. Then you put your cotter pin right up there where I've got that bailing wire. And you're good to go. Now I'd really like to show you this thing driving around the yard, cutting the grass. And there's Beanie. Going into attack mode, there was just a bird out in the lawn. So as you can see, the grass is cut. And I did it with Alice. Well, that didn't come out right either, did it? Anyway, she is ready to go to her new home. Uh, we are giving that lawnmower to somebody that needs it. They have quite a bit of grass to cut. And lately, it's been around 100 degrees here. So I'm sure it'll be put to good use. And I want to thank Farmer Paul, because I got that lawnmower from Farmer Paul. And when he saw the past videos, we got it running, got it moving. Got the, Now we got the deck on it, and it's cutting grass. I will call that complete. And now, I'm getting a little hungry. And this is how we end our day. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. And we'll see you all in the next one. Later. Push on the seat. Yeah. Push on it? Yeah, there's a switch under it. Push on it. Push down? Yep. Just a little bit.